So my name is Dr. Heather Smith. If you look back through those grade school books where, you know, when I grow up, I want to be a blank. Doctor was in mine probably from the time I was in grade three or grade four. In my teenage years, I had the opportunity to be the babysitter for a family doctor. She was a, a single parent, so when she got called out in the middle of the night, I got called out in the middle of the night. And the more I saw medicine, the more I thought, you know, this is, this is the right thing for me. Initially, I applied to medical school and I didn't get in the first time I applied, which is not uncommon. There's a lot of qualified people and only so many spots. I went back and did a master's degree in community health and enjoyed that a lot but I still knew medicine was what I wanted. At that time, the Northern Medical Program had been announced and they were intaking their first class at the same time I was graduating from, from my master's degree. I thought, well, this is fortuitous. So I, I threw my name in the hat again. Leaving Prince George was not something I wanted. I liked Prince George. My family was here, my friends were here, and I liked it as a place. Hearing I got into the Northern Medical Program, I was like, oh. That's great. And, and I always knew that I had an interest in um, marginalized groups, so people who maybe don't get the best health care because of some of the other psychosocial issues that, that surround their health. When I came back to Prince George from residency, which I did in Newfoundland, um, I was contacted by Olive Godwin, who was the primary health care coordinator of this clinic, and she said, I think you might be a good fit at our clinic. Are you interested? And I said, Sure, I'll give it a try. And I am a family doctor with a varied practice between um, family medicine offices, health clinic that caters mainly to First Nations people, and also people living close to or on the street or people living with HIV. I work as the GP on a, a acute stabilization for mental health team where they go out and do outreach to people who are struggling with their mental health. I work at the local college in their health and wellness center, and um, I do women's health. And you tell people that you were part of the graduate class, oh, that's awesome, and you're here, and people are still excited to see the medical students coming through and still excited to see them stay because they can see it working. It's like, oh, you got trained here and you stayed. That's perfect. What we receive from the Northern Medical Program is incredible.